hello guys you're welcome to my youtube channel once again and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to model a simple 3d character so the first thing we do is that we're going to hover our mouse to this point here where we have this sign and we're going to right click on that place and let's say vertical split and we're going to move this line to the center of our 3d windows and left click to activate that so now we have two window projection so we're going to click one on, on our notepad keyboard and make this front orthographic view and you're going to click three on this side on your notepad keyboard for the right orthographic view you're going to select by left clicking on this cube and click delete to delete that so we'll do shift a to bring in our image reference then we'll come to where we have image click on image and click reference so this so this takes us to our desktop here we saved our image reference so come to desktop here and um, I saved mine in this place and I'm going to select my image reference select it and load reference image so now we have our image reference in our front orthographic view view because our mouse was in this region so we're, we're going to move this backwards so this is our move to select this and move backwards on the y axis this point here and I'm going to select this again and say shift D to duplicate and right click to release i will say arrow on my keyboard to rotate i will click z on the z axis and 90. so this rotates this reference at the angle of 90 on the z axis so i'm going to move this to this point like this i'm going to select this also and move backwards also so what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to select this image reference and i'm going to move it on the x-axis i want it to be at the center of my character reference so i'm going to zoom in and say g and x and ensure it's at the center of your character reference just g and x a little bit and if you've done that what I'll do next is very simple. I'm going to come to this place that I have filters. I'm going to click on filters and activate selectables. So if I've done that, I'm going to select, I'm going to deselect all this so I can select my image reference. But before I do that, I'm going to move my right image reference to this point. Let me move it to this point like this. To this point, to be at the center of this line. So now I cannot uncheck this now. So what I'm going to do next is very simple. I'm going to bring in my image, not my image reference. I'm going to bring in a plane, shift A to bring in an object, go to mesh and bring in a plane. So our plane is lying down. I'm going to rotate that plane by saying arrow on my keyboard, X on the X axis and 90 to rotate that. And I'll say S to scale uniformly. I'm going to move this plane upwards to this point and say S to scale. Move it to this point. What I will do next, I will say tab for edit mode and I will say control arrow to add a loop cut here. And I'm going to say three for face selection. Select this face and click delete on your keyboard. So the delete menu comes up. I'm going to choose face. What I'm going to do next again, I'm going to come to my modifiers properties here. Click on modifiers properties. Go to add modifier and add what we call a mirror modifier. So I'm going to come here and say clipping and on cage and when i say one for my vector selection i select this vector six and come to my move to I move this vector six this other vectors get to move along with it so i'm going to say a to select all and come to my right photographic view and move this plane to this point i can say arrow to rotate this plane i can say alt z for wireframe mode windows drag and select all these vectors is here and bring to this point so now we can start our modeling proper. So I'm going to select this vectors and move to this point. And I can say E to extrude. I'll extrude this to this point like this. And can move it also to this point. Can move this also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two, these four vectors here, and push upwards a little bit. I'm going to select this middle one. And push upward a little bit so I can select this now and um, follow my reference image to this point 
so now we can start our modeling process so two for edge selection select this edge hold shift and select this edge shift this and i'll say e to extrude to this point and i'll select this edge here and move this edge to this point one for vector selection select these vectors and move to this point here and i'll say two again for edge selection select this edge hold shift select this edge and say e to extrude to this region and move like this and i'll say one for vector selection select these vectors and move towards this end so we are following our reference image very well we we'll say two again so we'll select only this for now and say e to extrude and arrow on your keyboard to rotate so the trick is that once you do anything in one um, orthographic view you have to come to this other side and make that changes also so i'm going to come here and push this backwards and say arrow to rotate i will come again here and say e to extrude again i will say arrow to rotate I'm going to move this downwards and i'm going to move this to this place so ensure that your character is smooth so i'm going to say arrow to rotate again and move this to this point select this and say arrow to rotate so i'm going to select this back again and say e to extrude to this region and arrow to rotate come to your right view and move this to this point and say arrow to rotate so we'll come here again and say e to extrude arrow to rotate move to this point move this backwards a little bit and say e to extrude arrow to rotate move this to this end in your left in your right view move this forward and say e to extrude again and arrow to rotate so you can select this and rotate this and bring this downwards a little bit so we select this now in our right view I'm going to move this to this point and say arrow to rotate like this and um, say one you can select this and move this upwards move this closer a bit two select this edge now and um, say e to extrude for the last time arrow to rotate come to your right view and align this to this point so we say one for vector selection select these vectors move to this end and then select this also so i'm going to select this and hold shift and select this and i'll say m to red and say at center select this and select this and say m to red and i'll choose at last so now i have my eye look well modeled i'll say two again for edge selection select this edge i'll say e to extrude and i'm going to push inwards to this point like this I'm going to leave that for now and come to my right view and um, move this and say arrow to rotate. I'll come here also and say one for vector selection. Select these vectors, hold shift, select these vectors and say M on your keyboard and say at last. So to join that, so now I'll come here now and make this adjustment. I'm going to move this to this point and move this forward also. So now we can create the area for the nose and for the mouth. So I'll say two for edge selection. I will select this and say E to extrude for the nose region. And I'm going to select this and say arrow to rotate. So now we've come to the end of our character modeling. So in this tutorial, we are modeling the eye. And um, in our next tutorial, will be modeling the nose.